Hello everyone. Today we will study two important forces. The first is the normal reaction and the tension force. These are very important for the numerical. So we are taking here the two forces only in this video. And then after we'll take the numericals in the next video. Okay. So the first force is normal reaction. So what is normal reaction? When an object is kept on a surface. Suppose this object is kept on the surface. It has mass m. So obviously it will have this gravitational pull on it. And this will be the weight of the object. Now this object is at rest. Is there acceleration on this body due to the gravitational pull? It appears that the gravitational acceleration is there. But in that case the object must have moved downwards under the ground then what is the case if this acceleration is zero or you can say if acceleration is zero that means f is zero or you can say the net force is zero then there must be some other force which is acting over here in the opposite direction of this weight which is counterbalancing it so that the net force on it is zero and that force is called as normal reaction. So why this normal reaction is acting on it? Because when this object is kept on this surface, the weight is acting downward. The object is compressing this surface and as a result, since the object is at rest in order to make net force zero so there will be a reaction force due to this action of the weight on the surface and this will be normal reactions so this means so r is balancing this weight and that's why the net force is zero one very important point here to note down is that normal reaction always makes a 90 degree angle with the surface. So if this is your surface, then the angle which the normal reaction makes with the surface is 90 degree. Right. So that's why this is also called as normal reaction because this is normally outward to the surface. So we can write in short over here. This normal reaction acts normally outward to the surface on which it is kept. Let's take another case. Suppose this was your horizontal surface. Let's take an inclined surface. So that inclined surface is suppose this one. The object is having mass m. Obviously the weight will act downwards. Right. So in this case. The object is kept on the inclined, right? So it is pressing it here. So this surface will in turn give a normally outward reaction. So it will have normal reaction in this direction, which is normally outward to this inclined surface. So you can say that here also, this is the inclined surface and this is the angle that is 90 degree which this normal reaction makes with the surface. So now in this case you will be using this concept later on that in this case normal reaction is not equal to mg in this case normal reaction is equal to mg why so because our surface under consideration is the inclined one so this is normally outward here 
now we will have to find the components of this mg weight along this direction and this direction right so you can easily find out that this angle will also be theta how this is 90 degree right and this is suppose theta dash right so we know that theta dash plus theta plus 90 is equal to 180 so theta dash is 90 minus theta this is 90 minus theta so this will obviously be theta now we have to find the components of mg along the surface and in perpendicular direction right so here if you have a vector like this this is the angle theta then the component along theta is a cos theta and the perpendicular component is a sin theta similarly this is the weight acting downward now this is the angle theta so this will be mg cos theta and the normal component will be mg sin theta so i'm marking it here this is mg cos theta and this is mg sin theta right so in this case r is equal to mg cos theta and r is not equal to mg now it is very much clear that this normal reaction force is exerted by the surface in a normally outward direction now we'll take the next force that is called as tension force So you must have observed you must have observed that if you have a support like this a thread attached to a block of mass m let's see what all forces are acting on it this is mg now this block is at rest what does that mean its velocity is zero or you can say its acceleration is zero what does that mean that means the net force is zero what does that mean we can clearly observe here that this force is acting downwards so how is the net force zero this indicates that there must be a force which is opposite to this weight which is acting on this block in opposite direction in order to counterbalance this weight right so here this opposite force which is acting on this block in opposite direction to counterbalance this weight is called tension force now look here this tension is there only when the spring is taut i'll write down the condition separately now let's look at the support beta now if support instead of support if you use your hand right if you are using your hand and you are holding it the same way if this is the weight mg this is the tension how much weight will your hand feel for this block obviously this mg weight the same weight why so because here this tension is equal to mg right now it is observed that this tension due to this string is taut 
the tension is acting towards the support now here this string is pulling the hand this way so this string is applying the same tension on the hand as well so if we are saying that t is equal to mg therefore hand also feels the same weight of the block right so there are a few points which are very very important here first thing is that the tension acts when the string is taut tension acts when the string is taut taut means khichui tightly pulled so here you can take another example if we are um, two people are holding a string like this these are the hands and they are holding this string this string is taut this is not loose this is not loose so this is taut so that means this person will feel that the string is pulling him this way and this person will feel that the string is pulling him this way so this tension force is same at every point on the string which is taut okay so you can write this important point also that tension is same at every point of the string right and third thing is very much clear that tension occurs to counterbalance the opposing force as you have seen in this case now the third thing which is very important to remember for the numericals is so therefore the tension is always marked away from the body because the string is pulling so for this body this tension is marked away for this body the tension is marked away right so this is all about your tension and normal reaction force hope you have understood the concepts we'll be using these concepts in the numericals which we'll discuss after discussing the free body diagrams that's all for now thank you and have a nice day